so I show up at this lunch and they're like, oh, we're having um, puja, which is the the Hindu Indian term for sacrifice. So I was like, what? What are we doing here? <laughs> and they're like, oh, it's a puja to Saraswati, who's the goddess of knowledge. And so before finals week, every semester, the Indian students would get together and, and offer a sacrifice to Saraswati. And the way it works in Indian culture is you, you make a sacrifice to the god, the god blesses the sacrifice, and then you consume the sacrifice to get his blessing. And this particular one, it was, it was all vegetarian, so it was like, it wasn't the good Indian food. Yeah. <laughs> it was just like fruits Chicken, and veggies. Chicken masala. And, and, oh, I yeah. wish. No. And so it was like stuff I eat every single day. And the way it worked is, you know, they had some, one of the students was a priest class, so he could do the sacrifice or whatever, said the prayer in, in uh, Sanskrit. They sprinkled uh, the idol with holy water. They sprinkled the food with holy water, and then they sprinkled everybody there with holy water so you could get Saraswati's blessing and do better on your, uh, on your finals. And uh, I, I'm not saying this braggadocious. I'm, I'm saying this as, as a fool. You know, I was like, well, is, are these even real, right? Are, are these real gods or is it just, I mean, I watch you guys pull this picture out of a suitcase and prop it up on a wall. Like, that's not a god. And, and so I, I ate the sacrifice and uh, again, it was fruits, veggies, stuff I ate every day and just gut churning stunt like sicker than a dog. Mm. And this was on a Saturday. I woke up Sunday, like almost didn't go to church because I was so sick. I was like, well, I, sh I should go to church. I should go to church. And so I did. And I almost left church a couple of times to go like <laughs> yak in the bathroom. So I was miserable. And then I went up, I took communion and like immediately everything just went away. And I was like, really? I think that was spiritual warfare. Yeah. <laughs> I think I just did exactly what St. Paul says don't do and communed at, a, at an altar of demons. And then Jesus went into my stomach and punched the demon in the face and kicked him out. I was like, this stuff's real. Yeah. <laughs> like, it, it, yeah, yeah. That's wild. So this is, I mean, kind of along with that. Um, so my buddy uh, Matt was just at a um, conference. So he's, he's Catholic. And, um, there was some, it was a pretty big conference. It was in Indiana. It was like one of like a regional one. And there was someone speaking about kind of demonic activity and stuff mm -hmm. like that. I think he was, I think he was an exorcist and he was talking about the occult mm -hmm. and he was saying that in the occult, what, what's, what's the top one? Like the grand master or something, do you know, the, or grand, whatever, like the top level is. Okay. They've got, they've got one last like ritual that they have to go through and it's a test. You know what this test is? They have a hundred hosts on a table and this person has to be able to figure out which one's been consecrated. Isn't that wild? That's insane. So they actually have people that go into uh, uh, churches and steal it so that they can bring it out for this. So in other words, they have to be able to, the, the test is they can sense because they've got some kind of spiritual connection mm -hmm. that they can see which one. So it's not, it's not like a luck, like 1% chance, yeah. but that they can actually tell that something, something's different about this. Yeah. And isn't, I mean, isn't that dark? But shout out Lutheranism, consume the elements. <laughs> Don't keep yeah. consecrated stuff in your church. But yeah, that, well, that's wild. And that was part of his story was he was saying that he, he was telling people to watch out for this in their churches because yeah. he, I think it was him or he was telling a story maybe on behalf of a friend. I can't remember. I wasn't, at, I wasn't there. Um, but he was saying that there was one lady once that she came up for communion and her head kind of like snapped back. And he's like, that's weird. And gave, gave the host and, and she started to walk away and he realized she didn't eat it. Mm -hmm. and then she left the church and he like stopped stopped mid mass yeah. and chased out into the parking lot yeah. and took the host back and she was like oh i was going to eat it i was going to eat it and he's like no and he came back in yeah 